third one already coming up, as you can see. Oh, dude, it might be in one of these right here. We only hit four bags, found it. It's in this one. That's the fourth bag that it just cracked, but it never went into. It just punched it. I mean, it didn't come out here. It just punched a hole. It's up in here, though. I can feel it. I can actually feel how hot it is, too. Aha! So that's what happens when something really fast goes through. It bends it. So that is our 308 round. They went in and then smashed, which is also why our other one flew out. Goes in, starts bending, and then goes, shoots out. Three bags. Stopped in like six inches of sand. Purple, real kinetic sand will save your life from a 308. Six inches of it. That is wild. We started dumping these in a pile, and one of the other bags we shot, this fell out. That is a 308 that I thought flew out somewhere. It was still in the bag, which means we have found six out of six shots that we have shot today, which has never, ever in the history of Demolition Ranch happened before. Today is a Demolition Ranch Woohoo! So we yeah. Have to keep dumping out the sand now. We emptied a bunch of bags, obviously. This is everything we got, about 150 pounds. What's so weird is like this stuff looks like hard sand. It looks kind of dried out. And it, I mean, it feels like that. Yeah, Until that you stuff looks it weird. And let it start moving. It's just like, this stuff is so weird. So but it's crazy. cool. No. That was close. Okay. We're going to get this all packed up. This is what we did with the last one. We made a big pile like this and we shot it with an incendiary 50 BMG. And it went boom. And it only went about like halfway through our pile. I think we're good. That ain't going nowhere. This is an incendiary round. It's a 50 BMG. Mm -hmm. A big man of jamma. And when it hits, I'll it say explodes. we got to, we're bringing so out we the big boys now. If it can get through that sand, uh, it's probably at the widest point at the bottom, about two feet wide, which is about what our other pile was. And we probably only got about a foot in, and then that incendiary went off and exploded, and the round did not go any further. We found pieces of the round. It, it blew the round all apart. We are going to see what happens in the real kinetic sand, the purple kinetic sand, when it gets hit with a 50 BMG blue tip. Man, that thing kicked hard enough. Dang it. So that looks very similar to the last one. Dude, mm. that's actually way better. The last one blew out this whole half of the pile and left the back half. This one didn't even... <sighs> There's something warm in there. Ow! Ow! The sand's just super hot, too. There's a little tiny, mm. tiny chunk of metal. Dude, this sand is something else. I want to get that super hot piece out. Ow! There's a big piece I was feeling. That. It's still going. It... Oh, it's still really hot down there. All this stuff, it just cooked out. See, this stuff all acts like normal sand now. So it doesn't have any fluid motion. It's all dried out. Okay, it actually went a little further than we thought. Still big chunks of 50 BMG like that. Yeah, there we go. Looking for something bigger like that. All right, so we're getting down to purple sand now, which tells me there's nothing hot back here. So that incendiary tip, just for those who don't know, doesn't normally explode the bullet. The bullet usually stays together and just the tip explodes and mm. explodes whatever it hits. That bullet broke apart because it hit the sand super hard. It did not break apart because that incendiary Wow, tip, that's if I shot crazy. A full metal jacket, that's amazing. It would break apart just like this. So I'm amazed it exploded. And you guys who don't know are probably like, yeah, you shot an explosive bullet. That's not how they normally explode. That's it. Mm. We didn't touch three quarters of our sand. And of course, if you shoot it, it all just flows back in and fills the hole. If you had this in a sandbag, it would just go boom, and then it would fill back in. And you've got the best penetrator stopper ever. That sentence didn't make sense. 22, 357 Magnum, 10 millimeter, 50 mm. Beowulf, 308, 308, 50 BMG. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means that we have successfully recovered seven out of seven bullets in today's mm. Demolition Ranch episode. Which means mm. that's a no! <laughs> All right, you did it, man. Officially submitting his idea to the United States I always believe in you. 
this in the sandbags. Buy play sand for our troops. If you care about our troops, you will fill their sandbags <laughs> with play sand. There you the United go. States government, I want to see it happen, and I want all the credit for all the lives I'm going to save because of that. Also, we have, I count all these pieces, with these pieces and these bullets, we have 27 pieces that we're going to randomly stick in with your orders at Bunker Branding. You order a demolition mm -hmm. shirt, there's a chance you might get these. So all 27 of these pieces, we randomly put wow. in bags today only. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Dimmo's Red. And I'll see you next time.